friends, good day, good afternoon. I hope you're having fun and staying safe. Today, I want to do a quick review on my first time experience with the Mac OS Big Saw. It was released sometime last week, as the time of this recording. And uh, previously, I posted some video to express my displeasure and why I was uninstalling the developer beta. That was before it became public release. And I think I really like this public release because uh, um, it works even though I've had some complaints about it but I just want to show you how it works with my own tools and show a little bit of how I like it now and some other things that have gone quite well with it so this might not be your regular review video but I just want to share my own first time experience on the Mac OS Big Saw public release so let's get into it you would normally see prompts on your operating system notifications area that Mac OS Big Sur is ready to download or you could just go to your system preferences to try and check for updates. After you've done that and clicked on upgrade, it took a bit of time for the download to complete. And after the download is completed, you can then go on to run the installation. After the download is done, you continue the installation and agree to the terms and conditions. You select the hard drive to install the add-on, put in your password, OK that, and then the installation begins. It's like a couple of moments to sort of you know, wrap it up with the installation. So I'll just do a little bit of fast forwarding here to where it's completed then it is now ready to install after i click on the restart button so i restart my mac right here and then come back with another recording of this i'm now logged in back into my mac os and the first thing i check is my development tool which is visual studio for mac so I try to run the last app I tried to write and that's it right there. One of the first few reasons I actually decided to uninstall the big server was because it was not even working at all. It would crash for some very weird reasons. And I almost gave up here to be honest that uh, this wasn't what doing. And then I would just reset the mark again for some reason that, well, it's just that way I could just afford to do that because it's not my main machine and I could afford to lose the data on it because it's temporary data I normally just use it to build out my iOS apps from Windows to SSH so then I realized I could do a little bit of tweak here so I quit Visual Studio I had to force quit it and then after I did that I opened up Visual Studio again to give it one last try before I finally give up. So I wait for it to open. And then what I did instead was to create a new project. Just create a quick console application. I might have forgotten where that is located to be honest because I mainly just write mobile apps with it. So I found my console app. And then I'll just create that and try to run it and see if it works. If that works, I think we might be fine. So uh, I just quit that error. And then I just try to run the console application to see if it will actually run. So it seems Visual Studio is responding now and my agitation for trying to uninstall it now is uh, is off. So let me run it. And okay, it has run. So I'll try to open up the project I tried the other time. Don't mind me moving around too much. I'm just trying to figure out where all the stuff are. No, and I think it opened up quite well and there is no reason for me to uninstall it right now. So I'll probably just go around checking out the new features of Mac OS Big Sur now that my tool is working fine. So I need to enable the XAML Previewer 
for my apps to preview in Visual Studio and all that. Then I want to check out the other features. So I open up the App Store to try to update some of my applications. That's Xcode and GarageBand. I'll just give that a bit of time. I'm not sure to finish anytime soon. So I'll just minimize that window. And then just check out the other features available. Uh, it seems Visual Studio is still running, but I'll just quit that because I'm not ready to code right now. I need to close it from there and quit it. So it's properly closed. Some weird stuff. I don't know why I have to come back down to close apps, to be honest. But anyways, that's story for another day. So pretty much this is all I got here. Uh, all my old apps are still there working. I hope because I wouldn't try to open them just yet because they're not really the main apps I use every day. So let's check out some other stuff. So the taskbar has been improved now. So I could control stuff quite easily. I could adjust my display brightness, my background, uh, my system sound. So let's try to open up Spotify and see how that works. So I'll just try to play something. I'll just play my daily drive or Yuri Yuri, my favorite new artist. And then I can control that from the, what I call it, action center now. I can pause it. Then I have also a control at the taskbar for pausing and skipping forward if I want to. Spotlight search is still there, of course. And then my Wi-Fi control looks better. And one thing that pissed me off the last time was, it was telling me my battery was up for repair for some very weird reasons, but that is gone. I can control my sound. Uh, my Snagit for taking screenshots is still there and working. My US utility app, my window management application, Crisp, is still working fine. So I think I'm happy so far. I'll just empty my trash. And um, it looks really good. Just quit some other running apps that I don't really need. Apple Music is also there. I'm not sure I have any Apple Music there. I don't have an Apple Music subscription, so I'm guessing that wouldn't work for me at all. And I'm not ready to start a trial, of course. So I'll start a book podcasts. I think every app sort of have its own stats information now so that's my podcast right there so you see i have control over it from the taskbar i can play pause from there i think that's really a very nice feature that will come in handy for me most of the times since i do a lot of uh, music stuff and podcasting So let me just go ahead and play. And then I would see if I go back to the action center on top, let me just crank up the volume. And I can control play and pause from there. I could have to have playing audio at the same time. Really nice. I could change the time. And I think that's one of the things I like most. And I think I've been overstressing it too much. So I'll just go ahead. And uh, one funny fact is uh, if you go to the system preferences, there was a controversy over the battery icon. And I think it's better now, to be honest. And there's pretty not, not much to see around here, to be honest. Everything still looks to me the way it was. 
I could change my wallpaper, light and dark, or automatic based on the time of the day. I can also do my screen time. I'll just fast forward through all these ones. Everything looks all the same. And I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'll keep it. I like it. I like the new release of the Mac OS Big Sur. That's it, the summary of my video. No longer a rant. I think I like it and it works. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Like, subscribe, and share. Peace.